Good morning. It is the 12th of December and I'm going to open up my advents. First one is the one from Mitten Cookie, Bitten Mitten. So this one is called Bonbon Patate. And you have these uh, little um, marker that is in the shape of bonbon patate. And if you don't know what bonbon patate is, uh, I'm going to read you. Uh, it's a recipe that was made in Quebec uh, in the beginning because people were craving sweets and they did not have um, many resources or so many things to do with uh, sweets. So what they use is a mashed potato and they mix it with uh, powder sugar, confectioner sugar, and they mix it and then they roll it and put peanut butter in it and make it in the form of a, a roll. And then you, you cut them in the little candy piece. Uh, I'm going to put the recipe at the end of the video, but uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to put the recipe on Instagram too. Uh, so that's it. So today is bonbon patate and it's really good candy. <laughs> I really love them. Some people use uh, maple, maple butter in place of the peanut butter but it's already sweet and i love it with the peanut butter because it over overcome the sweetness of the paste of with the potato uh, next one let's go with the uh, blueberry papeterie uh, where did i put my scissors It's going to be great for um, New Year. I love that mud. Wait. It's gorgeous, this team. Next one is uh, the one from Simple Social. The name is Sirene which is my maid. Ooh. That's a really great teal, bluish color. Nice. And the last one is the one from Pixie. Oh, that's our plum pudding. Look at that. How cute it is. She reused bouquet for the top and I think it's a really good idea that she made that. So yeah, and uh, oh, the tarot card for the day. But I'm gonna show you uh, what I've been knitting. So I finished the the hat for the gnome, and it's really gonna be gigantos. So the hat is done, and then I started the body. But uh, uh, making it different than the pattern, because the pattern is asking you to uh, knit the body starting on the brim of the hat. But since I want to make it uh, a head beneath the hat, I'm doing the body uh, differently. So I'm doing that right now. So I'm using uh, many kinds of yarn. 
The first one is uh, Bernard Blanquet uh, Extra. And after that, it's uh, four kinds of yarn that I'm doing, uh, mixing to make that. Because I knew I wouldn't have enough of the Bernard Blanquet, so I'm using leftovers of yarns and acrylic yarns. There's even one that is, I think, Limani, like alpaca yarn. It's really uh, luxurious for that project, but it's going to be beautiful. That's what I had on end. So I'm doing that. And that's about the only project I'm working on right now. Even though I want to cast on so many things, that's the only one I'm working on because I have to finish before Christmas. I'm, I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it, but if not, it's for my sister that she lives with me, then it's not bad. So, next one is a tarot card from the Stitcher Tarot. So, what you wanna learn for today? The Ten of Wands. <clears throat> so let's go see. Um, it knows that you are taking on extra burden, a uh, heavier workload or greater responsibility. Even though it is weighing you down and making things tougher for you, you understand it is only temporary, so you are willing to put in the hard work now to accomplish your goal and reap the rewards later. Sometimes it appears when you are taking on extra responsibility and finding yourself feeling weighted down, exhausted and burnt out. You may try to do everything at once even though you know it is adding extra pressure to your daily life. So the card is asking you to stop and examine your current lifestyle or work, assess which activity or task are urgent and important. So the good news is that the ten, tens in tarot represent the completion of a circle, a cycle. So it means that the end is in sight. You have been pushing yourself to your limits and working very hard towards your goal. Okay, so I think it's about my financial health because I'm reading it in a reading. The Ten of Wands signals that you have taken on too much debt and you are now, now almost drowning in this, in this debt. If you do not act now, your financial situation may get worse. Seek the advice and guidance of a financial advisor or a debt counselor to help you get out of this situation. So that's what I made, I made the appointment yesterday. So that's good. It's really about that, it's telling me it was a good choice to do that. So today I might uh, do a video with Camille this morning if she 
she gets uh, up because she's not uh, there yet. I didn't have any news from her yet, I mean. And after that, I'm going to be knitting back at home. And like usual, doing some some cleaning. And I'm sorry I did not post the December 10th yet. Because my computer is so old. I'm having problem with it right now. So I'm trying to make it and make the 11th and post it for you. And that's it for now. I'm going to wish you a good day. Bye-bye. This is Leo. Sandy's cat. And he looks like a big potato. <laughs>